Hey guys, welcome back. So here we are again, another day, another collab that's making its way back after selling out. And of course, this has never been done before and it's all because we begged for it and they made it happen. This was totally unplanned and we are so lucky that there are companies out there who are quick to respond to their customers' demands. All we have to do is click our heels three times and suddenly we're transported to a fucking fantasy land where we believe a company's first priority is anything other than profit and that they didn't have this planned out months in advance, but this company tried it. So obviously I'm talking about Nikki Toots and her collab with Ofra, so here's the tea. As we know, the collab was released on March 29th, 2017 on OfraCosmetics.com and Beauty Bay. The collab has since sold out on Ofra's site, but is still available on Beauty Bay. However, it doesn't make sense for people in the US and Canada to purchase from Beauty Bay as it is an international site, which would make the collab significantly more expensive. In addition to that, I don't think you can use Nikki's code on that site, however I could be wrong. Anyway, the collab launched on March 29th and exactly two weeks to the day after the launch, which brings us to April 12th, we have what appears to be the early stages of an okay, since you begged, we'll bring it back for you, but that was the plan all along and we'll just make it seem like it was your idea bullshit. This isn't the first time we've heard it and it certainly won't be the last time, but this attempt at a marketing strategy was one of the most pathetic I've seen to date. So Nikki uploads this silver glittery and glowy festival makeup tutorial on April 12th and casually mentions this. Now for Glow, of course, I'm gonna go in with Everglow. You wanna blind everyone at that festival. You wanna blind the artists. You wanna blind them all. Now, sadly, the collaboration with Ofra was out of stock. It is now sold out, but I am trying my hardest. I'm begging upper management at Ofra to bring back all the items individually. I have no idea if I can pull this off, but a lot of you guys have asked for this, and of course, I want to make this happen for you. So I'm trying my hardest hardest. I'm really trying, fingers crossed, and let's hope it works. But Now I've said it before and I'll say it again. I was born a day, but today is not that day, and I don't know what kind of tomfoolery Nikki was trying to pull here, acting like she's trying to pull off a miracle by begging upper management to essentially make more money, which by the way is obviously any company's first priority. And FYI, we know Miss Toots wouldn't be using an item in a video that either isn't attached to an affiliate code or isn't in some way making her money. She's also said many times that she doesn't like talking about items that are sold out or discontinued because her subscribers obviously wouldn't be able to purchase the item and she knows that if she continued to use items from her collab, which is supposedly sold out, she'd have to deal with comments from her almost 7 million subscribers questioning why she's using it if it's not available. Nikki is a YouTube veteran and a businesswoman. She knows exactly what she's doing. What she isn't good at, however, is lying. She knew the collab was coming back and that's why she used it, to hype people up for when it returned. But anyway, Amir four days after she put that video up and keep in mind this is only 18 days after the first launch Nikki made this video announcing that her pleas to upper management had been answered and Kel surprise everyone the collab is coming back in its original form and in singles I just wanted to come on here because I have a very special announcement concerning my collaboration with Ofra Cosmetics. You guys made the first launch such a huge, huge success. So now I just got the word that we are bringing the collection back. We're bringing it back. Plus, what is even more amazing about this is that we're also bringing back the items individually. After my last video, I asked you if you wanted it and so many of you wanted this and I showed all your messages to upper management at Ofra and I convinced them. You helped me convincing them bringing back the collection. So now everyone can get Everglow or Nude Potion or Spell or Coven separately or still with the box all together, we're bringing it back. So I thought it would only be fitting to do my glow using my baby Everglow today. This is so blinding, it's crazy. So after all your comments, all your requests, and me pushing to upper management at Ofra, I am beyond pleased that the Ofra slash Nikki Tutorials collab is coming back, plus as individuals! Mark your calendars April 26th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This all will be available plus individually. Plus, I talked to Ofra and I was like, we have to celebrate this. So we just came up with this last minute. I am coming to Florida. <laughs> 
April 20th, I will be at Ofra's headquarters from 6 to 9, having a meet and greet to celebrate the relaunch and celebrate this. I mean, first off, I didn't see her asking her subscribers if they wanted the collab to come back. In fact, in the first video she made talking about how she didn't know if she could pull the shit off and was begging up her management to bring it back for you guys, of course, it was a statement. Not a question asking whether we wanted it, a statement. And yes, I know there were people asking for it on social media, but let's call a spade a spade here. It was not brought back because we asked for it. That nonsense is getting really old at this point, and the comment about her showing Ofra all of her subscribers messages in an effort to basically convince them to bring back a collab that is extremely lucrative for them and Nikki is absurd. Do you know how much money Ofra would have sunk into this collab? Not to mention this is their biggest collab to date that they're just gonna let it sell out in less than two weeks when they have an opportunity to make more money. If you believe that then you two are living in the same fantasy land that Nikki and Ofra are living in thinking that they can pass this malarkey off on their customers. Oh and the second launch date is set for April April 26th and Nikki got confirmation of the relaunch on April 16th cause you know, 4 days prior she was still begging Ofra. So you mean to tell me that in 10 days Ofra will be able to come up with the amount of product necessary to be sold not only in its original form but also as singles to satisfy Nikki's huge following. Not only that but they are also holding a meet and greet for Nikki at Ofra headquarters in Florida on April 20th. What's interesting is that Ofra posted this promo to their Twitter account on April 15th which was actually the day before Nikki posted her video saying that she just received confirmation that the collection would be returned. Turning. So within a three day window from Nikki saying that she didn't know whether she could pull this off to this promo, they were able to schedule and organize a meet and greet in Florida, have the artwork done for their meet and greet promo, book and confirm travel arrangements for Nikki, which by the way, you'd think Nikki's schedule would be booked months in advance, it's really lucky that she just so happened to be available to fly to Florida last minute to make it for April 20th. It really sounds like this company has horseshoes up their asses cause everything just seemed to fall into place for this last minute relaunch slash meet and greet. Or this was all part of a calculated marketing plan and a portion of the stock was either held back or they continued to produce more product because they knew the initial launch would be their opportunity to capitalize not only on the consumers who wanted the entire collection but also the ones who only really wanted one or two of the items but bought the whole thing because they had no choice if they really wanted those two items. So it's kind of like tricking those people into spending more money on the entire collection which obviously in turn is more money for the company and then when the initial hype has died down, they turn around only two weeks later and offer singles to the stragglers who didn't jump the gun, so to speak. You know, make as much money as possible off the people who would have only bought singles had that been an option from the beginning. I think that's pretty shitty considering the fact that this collab is pretty pricey and the fact that Nikki's demographic is mostly young girls and let's be real, this collab isn't exactly wearable for everyone so I think it would have been nice to have the option from day one to purchase the items as singles. I think that Ofra took advantage of their customers by not offering singles when they knew they were going to do so at a later date and on top of everything, Ofra and Nikki were obviously in cahoots to try and pull off this whole bullshit story that Nikki begged and pleaded with Ofra and basically basically convinced them to bring back the palette for her subscribers. To be honest, I think the worst thing is that it's actually insulting that Ofra and or Nikki think that us consumers are that fucking stupid to believe this pathetic attempt to hide the fact that this was the plan all along. Like at least put some effort into it or wait longer than two weeks. We are not idiots. And listen, don't get me wrong, I know this is all marketing and I understand that companies need to make money, but have a little class and cut the shit. It's transparent as fuck and embarrassing on the company's behalf. Be honest, if a collab really does sell out, just say we're bringing it back because it sold really well and offer the items as singles as well. I really respect the way Jeffrey and Manny priced their collab and offered the items as singles from the start to give their audience the choice. And when the bundle sold out, they said it would be back but not for a while as they ordered a large amount to begin with and didn't expect it to sell out as fast as it did. So yes, there is a way to do it without coming off thirsty as fuck and comparing Nikki's collab to Jeffrey and Manny's, it's very obvious to me that Nikki's was all about the money and not about her fans, whereas I didn't get that feeling from Jeffrey and Manny's. Yes, they too wanted to make money, but it was priced well and they didn't play games. Anyway, you guys, as always, let me know how you feel. Do you think 
think this was planned well in advance and do you feel like collab items should be offered as singles when applicable? If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon in my next one. Bye!